In this video, we're gonna look at how to make a layout that works across all kinds of screens, from the smallest iPhone up to big iPad, and how to create rules that apply across all screens. We are gonna use Xcode 8 with Swift 3. However, this video is not going to use much code. We're basically just going to look at how to create a layout with your layout rules. If we look at the storyboard, we see here is our view controller. This is our screen. I created a project based on a single view controller. And this, we're going to make a layout that works across different screen sizes. First off, I got the console down here, I got the files over here. I'm going to free up some space by clicking here and here. So let's have some space. All right, I want to place a view on the screen. And down here, we have all kinds of elements. We can either scroll down and search for I want a view or I can search for in the filter UI view. Where's the view? UI view. The one that's just a view. If I drag that over here it's white and white on white I cannot see it so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna change the background to something that we can see I'm gonna select red just any color just so I can see it if I place this and say I want a view that's on the top of the screen like this I want it full screen like this. That's great. If I run it on the simulator, I get a result that says that's exactly what we want. However, this is because I look at an iPhone 6 here this is an iPhone 6 in the simulator, but this is a set size. If I select this and go to the, the ruler icon here, I can see that this is 375 pixels wide, which is iPhone 6 size. In Xcode 8, we get a new nice feature that's down here view as a 6s, which is the same size as an iPhone 6. If I click this, I can say view as, and if I say I want to look at it as a 6s+, plus, we can see there is some extra space there. If I go down to the small one, a 4s, it looks correct, but if I select it, I can see that it keeps going out there. So I want to say this red view is going to be at the top and go out to the edges and be a set number of pixels high. Right now it's 128 pixels high. I'm going to change this to a, let's say, 100. I want this view to go to the top, out to the left, out to the right, and be 100 pixels high on all screens. To do this, I select this view and go down here to the little icon, the one with squares and lines that says pin. If I select this, I get a few things. Now here is constraints. 
the constraints are the rules for um, layouting my visual element. Right now it says 0, 0, 0, 567. And there are not filled lines here. If I want to say I want this to go 0 pixels to the sides and 0 pixels at top, I can just click in these. This means that I want it to be 0 pixels to the left, 0 pixels to the right, 0 pixels to the top. And what else do I want? I want it to be a set height. So let's make it a height 100. If I were to click, not click this, and click this, and say I want it to be 567 pixels from the bottom, which would be correct on this particular screen. However, if I were to run this on a little uh, iPhone uh, 4S, it doesn't even have 567 pixels from the bottom. So, up and give it a height. Add four constraints and we now have rules. If we look at the ruler icon, we get these things. A trailing space, if I select this, see on the right side we got a trailing space, a leading space, top space and a height. Now I don't have to run this in the simulator because it's Xcode 8. I can just say hey I want to look at this as a small 4s and here it is. If we look at the width it's 320 pixels wide. If I look at a, a 6s plus it scales up. It's always 100 pixel high because that's what I said and it goes out to the sides. If I look at a iPad I have to zoom out I can see it fills out and still is 100 pixels height. So that's the basis of constraints. And now if I do another view, let's just pull in another view and go to here and make another background so I can see it. Let's make it clear green. Now I want to place it a bit below, not very, um, you don't have to mind exactly how, just a bit bound below, a bit in from the sides like this. And let's give this rules. Let's pin it and say, yeah, let's make it 33 pixels from there. And I can edit these if I want. I want to say, no, let's make it here from the side. I want to make it 30 pixels. 30 pixels from side. It's not 30 right now, but that's the way I want it. And just let's make this 30 as well. So 30 down, 30 in from the sides. And here we can say constraint to margins. Let's not have that clicked. Let's ignore the margins for now. And let's give it a height. Let's say I want this to be, to make it very clear, I want to make it 150 high. Let's add these rules. Now we're going to get some kind of warning here that says, yeah, and you get a warning up here that says, your rules are not the same as what is being displayed. What I could do is select this view, go down to this icon with a little triangle, 
And here I can say, hey, UI element, update yourself according to your rules. And then I can say for the selected views or all views, let's do for the selected views, I want you to update frames. Update yourself to be like your rules. That one is the opposite. Update your rules to be like the way you are. So let's say update frames. So now it is 30 pixels from up, 30 pixels from the sides, and 150 pixels high. If we change around, look at different screen sizes, it keeps being 30 from the sides, 150 high. And the thing is, we're one, we are 30 pixels from the red one. Let's see, a top space to view 30. We could, you see the, that this highlights, we're 30 from the red one. So it's relative to another view. I could have said, relative to the outer view, to one view, to another view, so things can be relative to each other. So if I select the red and decide, no, I don't want this to be 100 height, I want this to be 50 height. Edit that, it updates, and the green one jumps with it, because I've said that the green one is going to be 30 pixels from the red one. This concludes the first part of this how to layout series.